Hello everyone and welcome back to Eat Sleep Brief. Today we're going to be covering a new light fixture I got. You can see it here. I ended up hanging it over the tank. And this is the new Aqua Illumination uh, Hydra 52 HD. So it is a newer generation. For you guys that saw my previous video, maybe follow me on Instagram, you knew as of last week I had the Radeon XR30 Pro G4s. And, you know, typically you'd assume that the more expensive a product is, well, the better it is going to be, correct? Um, and I kind of found out otherwise. I'm not trying to say that the Radeons are horrible lights. I'm just trying to say, or I am saying, that the Aqua Illumination, you know, for, I wouldn't say a quarter of the price, but um, for less amount of money, you get just a lot more. And not only that, but in my um my experience with these lights, my corals have actually been reacting a lot better than they were with the Radeons. You know, maybe the corals need to acclimate more with the, with the Radeons, maybe my settings weren't on point, but all I know is the day I put these Aqua Illumination lights on, my torch coral, especially on the top right, opened up like no one's business. Um, so yeah, th this is just going to be kind of my quick look and my thoughts on the Aqua Illumination. Um, but for sure, I'm going to end up uh, keeping these lights over the Radeons. And later, I'm going to have a video talking about both lights kind of side by side. So here you can see my, my torches followed by my hammer, which, guys, that hammer has never looked like that. Uh, my my Ganapora, still very happy. You can see here with the Radeons, it was very happy and as well very happy with these lights. So you can see my torches on the right side especially the one on the very top right it has never expanded like that if you guys have followed me on this on these videos you you'll, you'll see for yourself in the past videos it just has never been like that the hammer right below it has absolutely never expanded like that um so you know corals opening more in my book tells me they're a lot more happier i may be wrong but you know typically that 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 is what i have uh, found out in reading um you can see here on the left side i got a frog spawn um, and then right above that, I have the hammer and then another frog, frog spawn towards the right. Again, same results with this, with this hammer on the top, the, the blue-green, uh, or I guess it's like a purple blue tip frog spawn. Same exact thing. I got the same results as I did with the other frog spawn, and I didn't see this much, this much uh, expansion from these corals running the radions. Uh, given, you know, there's a lot of variables that go in, in lighting, but I was running their, their Coral Lab program, and um, yeah, I just didn't see that. Does that mean the light sucks? No. Um, you know, the corals may have been needed to be acclimated to those lights. Um, you know, I'm not trying to bag on these lights. I'm just trying to talk about based off my experience. Here on this, um, this mushroom here, you guys can see it's gone out of control. Um, the mushroom I put here as well, look at it, it's like touching the rock already. It's absolutely incredible how much growth. Uh, the zoas there have been very happy. The GSP here, guys, has absolutely taken off in the past week. Uh, this frog spawn is, is very happy, very, very happy as you can see it. And these zoas, you can see a tiny little head coming out right above the center one. So that thing's absolutely happy. But guys, look at this hammer. I mean, it's just super, super happy. Overall... With these lights, you can see them there, or see them here hovering over the tank. I've just been amazed. These lights retail for about six ninety nine. Um, not to mention, they also come in with the built Wi Fi, so you don't need to buy a reflink um, or you know be worried uh, of any of that. So you get a lot more value uh, for your money. The fish, obviously, the fish aren't too picky with lights. Pretty much anything hovering over them, they'll be very happy with. Um, so so far, the fish have reacted the same. Um, you guys can see the three new clownfish I have all the way on the bottom left are the new uh, Bali clownfish and uh, those guys are just doing amazing. Um, but yeah, I've been really, really happy with, with these lights. Um, everything just seems, you know, to be, I wouldn't say thriving yet, but it, it, it just looks happy. Like, like I said, check out my previous videos, compare them to the, this video. And um, you'll be able to see for yourself, just the corals have never looked like this. Even my wife saw it and she's like, hey, she's like, how come they look bigger? Like, they're, are they growing that fast? And I had to explain to her how they open up, you know, depending on the light settings. Um, a few guys out there may say, you know, I may have just nailed it with the settings on, on the Hydra fixture. Um, but, you know, whatever the case is, I can only go based off what I've seen. As far as the intensity I'm running on these lights, they are about 50% intensity. So it isn't nothing too crazy. Um, I know the Radions are for sure more powerful lights compared to these Aqua Illuminations. 
Um, the spread is also very nice on the radon. Another thing I do notice, I get a lot less um, of that shimmer slash uh, disco ball effect. You can, especially if you compare it to my other video, um, you'll see a lot less of it. Uh, down the road, I am going to be doing a side-by-side -side video comparing the Radeons XR30 Pro G4 to the Aqua Illumination Hydro 52s. If anybody out there were to ask me what lights would I recommend, hands down Aqua Illumination. Not only are they more inexpensive, but you don't have to buy the ReefLink. You know, not, all the Wi-Fi is built in. And I want to throw this out there. There's a lot of people that don't know. A lot of people that do know. Um, Radeon or Ecotech bought out Aqua Illumination. They didn't merge the companies, which is actually a very smart business move and something I, I would have for sure done. So they can each capture their own niche market, but they are owned by the same company. And another thing, when I purchase these lights, for you guys who know the company Red Sea and their amazing uh, tanks they have, they use Aqua Illumination lights. And everybody that I've talked to about Red Sea tanks, Red Sea tanks are absolutely known to grow corals. And I figured if they work with for Red Sea, why won't they work for me? So I figured Red Sea did a lot of testing on the lights and um, obviously they, they ended up going with these lights for a reason and I can see why. Also, the color looks a lot more well balanced with these lights. It's, it's kind of hard to see on video. You really have to see it in person. The, the way I would describe these lights, they look more softer slash better blended in my opinion. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you guys got some useful information. Like I said, I'm going to be having side-by-side -side videos uh, coming up on these two uh, light fixtures to kind of give you guys uh, more of a rundown. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to leave them down in the comment box below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Also, guys, be sure to leave a comment uh, before I end this video. Be sure to leave a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe. Also, be sure to check me out on Instagram. I'm going to have a link down below. Um, for my Instagram username, it's eat uh, underscore sleep underscore reef underscore. I just, as of yesterday, reached 900 followers, guys. We're very close to reaching 1,000 followers. Um, I put out a lot of content there. Probably, I do about three posts a day. So there's a lot of stuff, a lot of relevant stuff, a lot of stuff you can learn, and you can really stay up to date with me. So be sure to check out the Instagram. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and happy reefing.